Jesus. We give you praise and we give you glory. We thank you for your presence in this place. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you that you are our Savior, our Healer, our King of Kings, our Lord of Lords. We give you praise and honor and glory this morning. And we say thank you, Holy Spirit, for overshadowing us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for moving among us. Have your way, mighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for doing the exceeding and the abundantly, above all that we could ask or think. We give you glory and praise and honor. Lord, now touch these lips of clay and touch every ear to hear and every heart to receive. Cause me to speak as, as the voice of God in this hour in the name of Jesus and let your name be glorified, Holy Spirit. Have your way, move among us, brood upon us, transform us into your image, oh God, from glory to glory. And we thank you in advance for the impossible being possible. We thank you in advance for doing the unthinkable in the name of Jesus and causing your word to be performed in the name of Jesus. We give you praise and glory in advance and we declare your salvation. We declare your lordship over South Africa, over Midrand, over the nations of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord over Midrand. Jesus is Lord over South Africa. Jesus is Lord over Africa. Jesus is Lord over the nations of the earth in Jesus mighty name and we declare your greatness and your glory in Jesus name and all God's people shout amen and amen give him praise give him glory hallelujah you can do better than that I need somebody to shout stand on your feet and shout out to God with the voice of triumph hallelujah To our awesome worship team, our awesome band. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. I have a message this morning, but the Lord laid in my spirit for us to just uh, uh, trust God about his, his promise in Psalm 91. Amen. I know we're talking about the, the different uh, things concerning this coronavirus, and it was really sent as, as a precursor to other things that have been going on in these governments. <laughs> and, and some of you have already know about it, some of you are still to find out, but you're gonna see the financial markets really change up because of some of the things that this coronavirus is covering. <laughs> so just, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we, um, we were online uh, last night with, with Apostle, and uh, make a long story short, so many people have begun to panic over this coronavirus, and, and uh, we were saying to each other, but this is not even as bad as Ebola and all these other things <laughs> that, that have happened in the past, you know? And I was like, Okay, what are they covering? And that's the first thing, you know, thank God for God, God shows his prophets uh, and apostles great, some, some deep things sometimes. And the Lord had already shown apostle that this thing was a cover-up for something else. And uh, yeah, and it's, it's begun to come out in the news. Just stay, stay posted, amen. <laughs> stay posted to the financial markets and what's happening over there because that's what this coronavirus has been covering up. But I want us to just declare Psalm 91. Hallelujah. If you'll stand on your feet, and we're just going to declare Psalm 91 over this congregation and over uh, all of our families. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we know we have safety in the word of God. Amen. How many people are agreeing with, in faith with me this morning that we are covered under the blood of Jesus and no weapon formed against us shall prosper? Amen. Every time that exalts itself up against us, we condemn now and bring it to judgment. Amen. Hallelujah. We who dwell, let's say it together. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And we will say of the Lord, he is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in him we will trust. 
Surely he shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. And under his wings, we shall take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. Hallelujah. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have set our love upon him, because we made the Lord who is our refuge, even the most high, our dwelling place. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come nigh our dwelling. Amen. Even corona cannot come nigh our dwelling. Amen. For the, he shall give his angels charge, hallelujah, over us to keep us in all our ways. In their hands they shall bear us up, lest we dash our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. We shall trample underfoot. Amen. Because we have set our love upon him, therefore he will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us because we have known his name. Amen. Glory to God. We shall call upon him and he will answer us. Hallelujah. He will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us. With long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation. Amen. Somebody shout amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. It's so important, uh, before I get into the message, I just want to share this. It's so important we don't get into the hype of the world because the world is in darkness. But in the kingdom of God, the safety is in the ark of God, which is in God's word. Amen. The ark of God is God's word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there's safety in the house of God because we bring the bread of life in, in, in the house of God. Amen. So it's so important to be faithful to God in this hour. And, and for, for those that are panicking, you need to encourage them to come to the house of the Lord. Amen. And to receive Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, because in him we have no fear. Amen. Hallelujah. Many people live in fear because they're in darkness. But when you come to the light, when you are saved and you honor the Lord with your life, there's no fear that can touch you. Amen. Hallelujah. We must reject all fear. Hallelujah. And refuse the panic of the world. Amen. Because we know who we are in Christ. Amen. We are above only and not beneath. Hallelujah. We are the head and not the tail. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. In Jesus, we are overcomers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is upon our lives. It's the blood of Jesus that enforces the defeat of the enemy. The blood of Jesus destroys any virus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because it's by reason of the blood of Jesus. That's why the, uh, uh, the Bible talks about the blood of Jesus so much. Because it's the blood of Jesus that enforces the defeat of the enemy. Hallelujah. And when you plead the blood of Jesus, no virus can come near you. Hallelujah. When you walk in, in holiness before God, the enemy cannot come against you because the Bible says the angel of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him. Hallelujah. So when you walk in righteousness and walk with the Lord, the enemy cannot find any room to come against you. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that exalts itself up against you, we condemn now and bring it to judgment in Jesus' name. Amen. Give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my daughter, uh, Chloe, is, is in Texas. To make a long story short, she sent me a, a picture of, of some of the guys that are going in and out of the supermarkets. And they got plastic all over them and, and plastic shoes. And I'm just like, what is going on? These people are panicking like, yeah, ha. Don't they know who they are? <laughs> but we, that's the world. Yeah, that's the world and those in darkness. But we know who we are. Amen. So we are not in panic, amen. We are staying in faith. How many people are with me on that one? We're staying in faith, amen. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We refuse panic. Amen. We refuse fear. Hallelujah. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Amen. Hallelujah. In Christ, we know who we are. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. So I want to encourage you to, to stay in faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The message uh, that the Holy Spirit gave me to share with you this morning is entitled, He Will Supply. He will supply. And that means even protection. Amen. That means even financially, he will supply divine, divine uh, health, divine healing. Whatever your need is, our God will supply. Amen. Hallelujah. So turn with me to Philippians. Philippians chapter 3. We're going to be uh, in Philippians and in the epistles quite a lot this morning. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 3. Reading from verses 12 to 14, if you'll put it up on the screens. Let's read it together. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's read the word together. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold on me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Brethren, I do not count myself to have, have apprehended, but, the thing, but one thing I do, glory to God, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, glory to God. Verse 14, I press toward the mark, all right, well, different versions, toward the goal for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, amen. Glory to God. And I like, I like um, the word of God because the word brings clarity as to what we are pressing for in Christ. We press toward the goal for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Also turn with me to Philippians 4 and 19. Philippians 4 and 19. Glory to God. We know the scripture very well, I know. But I want us to read it and uh, read it in the New King James, and then we're going to read it in the Amplified. Philippians 4 and 19, and it says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I also want to read it in the Amplified. The word says, And my God, if you can put it up in the Amplified, glory to God. Philippians 4 and 19, And my God will liberally supply, fill to the full, your every need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus or in Christ Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My God will liberally supply. Hallelujah. He will fill to the full your every need. Amen. I want us to be encouraged this morning in the word of God that God will fill to the full. He will liberally supply every need, that need of, of divine protection in this hour when people uh, begin to panic about different things. We, we refuse panic, amen, because we walk in the fullness of him who fills all in all, amen. We walk in the fullness of Christ. Even as the word is says it, uh, has said it, we press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And when you know who you are, you refuse to panic and you refuse all fear. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we move in liberal supply because our God is our supply. He's the source. Amen. We're not fearful of anything or anybody. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what uh, things might be coming out in media or in the news or in, the, uh, in different nations of the earth. Our supply is in our God. Hallelujah. He fills us to the fullness of that supply. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And uh, also, I want us to be encouraged just to trust God all the more, especially in this hour. Amen. Learn to trust God. Teach your spirit that no matter what you hear on the outside, that you stay in faith. Amen? Teach, train your spirit. Amen? I, and Apostle and I have learned to do this, to train your spirit to stay in faith. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. The Bible says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. It's so important that no matter what you hear out there, hallelujah, whether it's in the news, in the media, or wherever, that we stay, that we've made the decision already to stay in faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. Hallelujah. It's so important that you remain in faith and faithful in that faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. Train your spirit to be faithful in faith. Hallelujah. I know what I'm talking about. Then you don't panic. When others panic, you're the, you're the one that brings security. Hallelujah. Because you're secure in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Our security is not found in men. It is found in our Lord Jesus Christ. He will supply all our need liberally. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Whether it's protection, the angel of the Lord encamps round about those that fear him. The angels have us uh, divinely protected. Um, sometimes the, the Holy Spirit has, help, has had me, I guess uh, maybe it's because I'm, the, the Lord has given me the gracing of the prophetic office. Many times I've seen my angels. And I've seen angels all over this church. And I've seen angels, and God has given us an angel of breakthrough in this church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And many times, and, and my children can bear me out, and all those that have been with us at least uh, uh, over seven years, y'all can bear us out. Hallelujah that we've seen angels in this place. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we should never fear. Hallelujah. Just say, in the name of Jesus, say it with me, in the name of Jesus, I reject all fear in Jesus' name because I am divinely protected by my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The word of God is sure. It is true. And it's so important that as we are trusting God, we allow the Lord to order our steps. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Refuse pride and reject fear because God is our source. Hallelujah. God is our source. And I want to encourage you in this hour to walk in wisdom. And that's what you do, even concerning the reports and all that. Walk in wisdom. You know, the wisdom of God will keep you out of harm's way. Amen. Who am I talking to this morning? Amen. How many people know what I'm talking about? Oh, we've walked this one. <laughs> oh, yes, we've walked this out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We've walked this out with apostle many times over that we just walk in wisdom. We just be led by the Holy Spirit as to where we are when we are there. Amen. Hallelujah. The people that get in trouble are the people that go by their own head and their own reasoning and refuse to, to listen to what God is speaking to them. And they refuse the, to listen to the, the Holy Spirit and the leading of the Lord in their lives. And that's when people get off track and get in trouble. But when you stay grounded and you stay in faith and you stay in the word, God protects you. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to share the key principles to seeing God's supply manifest, that liberal supply manifesting. Some of us have seen it at different times. Some of us see it uh, on a daily basis because God has found us faithful. Some of us are seeing it off and on. And I want to encourage us all to begin to see his supply in a daily, in a daily uh, uh, way. Hallelujah. In a daily realm. Hallelujah. And always seeing God's supernatural supply. So I want to encourage us this morning to not look to the left nor to the right, but look unto Jesus. Look unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Always look unto him. When, when uh, Paul says it, he, he talks about it, the, the issue there of looking unto Jesus. It's so important that, especially in this hour, when the enemy wants you to be distracted by these things in the media and these, uh, these underlying things that want to take your faith and steal your joy and steal your peace, 
That's when you say, no, I refuse those things. I'm going to stay in faith. And I know my God will supply all my need liberally hallelujah according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus whether it's protection whether it's a, a need in my family what whether it's relationship a breakthrough or wherever the breakthrough is needed my God supplies he's my source and if I stay in him I'm covered and I'm protected hallelujah I am safe in his arms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to encourage somebody. You are safe in his arms. Hallelujah. You are safe in Jesus. In Christ, you have safety. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 11, verses 13 and 14. Glory to God. Deuteronomy chapter 11. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 13 and 14, glory to God, hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 13 and 14. And it shall be, the word says, and it shall be that if you earnestly obey my commandments, which I command you today, to love the Lord your God and serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, verse 14, next verse, then I will give you the rain for your land in its season, the early rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain your new wine and your oil. Amen. Basically, this is talking about the harvest. There's another version that talks about gathering in your grain harvest. And uh, it's important that you recognize that though the enemy wants to distract us with other things, this is our harvest time. Mm -hmm. Amen. How many people have been sowing for a while? I know, I know we have. <laughs> and this is our harvest season. And that's why the enemy has sent so many things to distract and make people uh, uh, fearful so that they lose out on their harvest. But I refuse to lose. How many people are with me? I just refuse. I refuse that. Amen. I just refuse that. Hey, amen. Amen. So I want to share with you the key principles to receiving your full supply, to receiving your liberal supply, the key principles to receiving your full supply in Christ. Hallelujah. The first key is into your rest. Into your rest. Turn with me to Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4. Glory to God. Hebrews chapter 4. Glory to God. And the Bible says from verse 9, Hebrews 4, from verse 9, we're going to read down to verse 14. Hebrews chapter 4, from verse 9, the word says, there, there remains therefore a rest for the people of God. Amen. For he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from his works as God did from his. Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest, lest anyone uh, fall, uh, fail according to the same example of disobedience. In verse, uh, verse 12, for the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of, of bones and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Glory to God. And it goes on, but I just want us to pause there, that the Bible encourages us to enter that rest. There remains, therefore, a rest for the people of God. It says, today, if you will hear his voice in verse 7, do not harden your hearts. Amen. It's so important that when you enter the rest of God, that you keep hearing God. Keep hearing God. Amen. I want to encourage us in this hour, especially when we're trusting God for our harvest, that we keep hearing God. Amen. Keep hearing him because in hearing him, we stay in the rest of God. We stay in the peace, that, that peace that passes understanding. He is Jehovah Shalom. Amen. He's our peace. 
He has broken down every wall, every, everything that, that the enemy would try to put up and block, block us from and block our harvest or block us from, from victory. It's, it's already destroyed if we remain in our rest. If we remain in peace, that automatically comes down. Hallelujah. Any blockade of the enemy automatically falls to the ground because we have entered our rest. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our rest is in God. Our rest is in his word. Hallelujah. His word shall not return void. And I want to share with you three uh, keys into, in this point of entering rest. The power in the name of Jesus. The power of being an ambassador that is knowing who you are in Christ. And the power of the blessing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The power of the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Amen? To break every chain. Hallelujah. Oh, I love the power in the name. Because when we call on the name in faith, the name of Jesus destroys everything that the enemy would set up against us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we, we remain in our rest when we operate that power in the name of Jesus. So no matter what you're dealing with, if you're dealing with a spirit of fear, we say we rebuke fear in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If, if it's a situation that you're dealing with on the job, we rebuke chaos, we rebuke confusion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because there is power in the name of Jesus. Amen. And there's also power as an ambassador of Christ. Knowing who you are in Christ is, is also part of walking in the rest of God. Hallelujah. Know who you are as an ambassador for Christ. You are not uh, a mere human being. But I love how Bishop, our, our Bishop, Dad Tryon, uh, shares about this. He says, you are a God man and you are a God woman in Christ. You're not just a human being. You're not just a normal person. Because Christ lives in you, you have the spirit man that takes preeminence in your life. Hallelujah. So you are a God man for the men, and you are a God woman in Christ. Hallelujah. And therefore you are above and not beneath. You are the head and not the tail. Yet in all these things, you are more than a conqueror in Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you to walk in that, in entering your rest. Hallelujah. And also the power of the blessing. Ah, the power of the blessing means you know that you understand the, the principle of sonship. You know, some people say sonship and daughtership. I mean, it's the same thing. Really in Christ, because there's no gender, it's the same thing. But it, 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 you have to understand that there's power in the blessing. The blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow. There's blessing in being an heir of God. We are heirs of God, joint heirs with Christ. Amen. We are heirs in the kingdom together, one with another. That's why it's so important to stay in love, in the love walk, one with another. Forgive everybody. Love everybody. Stay in faith. Reject the root of bitterness because in staying in that realm of the blessing, that's where the blessing remains on your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Stay in that realm. Hallelujah. Stay in that blessing, the power of the blessing. Hallelujah. There's power in God's blessing. There's power in being, uh, being blessed, yes, but also to be a blessing. We are blessed to be a blessing. Not just blessed in ourselves, for ourselves uh, only, but to, to be a blessing wherever we are. That's why the 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 word of God talks about us being the salt and being the light in the world. Because at this time, the real church must rise up. How many people know what I'm talking about? The real church must rise up. The real church, those who are really saved, who are really honoring the Lord, who are really living for God, must stand up for God. Hallelujah. And not be counted among the fearful, but stay in faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God, the power of the blessing. And, as, and, and if you understand sonship, the sonship uh, that, that we walk in uh, reflects that blessing because sonship causes the blessing to remain. 
it gives you the, the access to what, what Apostle has taught on many times, the rubbed in anointing. Hallelujah. That's the anointing that comes upon true sons and daughters in the house of God. Hallelujah. And that honor and serve God. Hallelujah. That anointing destroys the yoke. So no matter what might touch you, glory to God. Because you're a son in the kingdom, a daughter in the kingdom, nothing shall by any means harm you. Hallelujah. You have safety. Hallelujah. Nothing shall by any means harm you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I remember uh, uh, when I was uh, at Oral Roberts University, I remember doing a, a study about healing and, and the different plagues that came. And there was one plague uh, that I studied and um, I'm trying to remember the, the, the man of God, but there were other men of God. In, this, was, this had broken out in Europe. Um, one of, I think it was a bub 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 bubonic plague or one of the plagues had broken out in, in Europe. And these men of God stayed in faith and they were the ones basically being doctors and taking care of the sick and, and nursing whoever they could back to health and even burying those that died. And the Bible, uh, uh, our, our, the, the Bible um, uh, believers at that time stood in such faith that when they even took, uh, there was a study done by, uh, by someone at that time, and it was, it was uh, put out in the papers at that time. This is uh, in, early in the, I believe, in the 1900s when this happened. And to make a long story short, they took a bit of the, the virus that was there and put it on the man of God's hand and put that hand under a microscope and immediately it disappeared. Immediately it disappeared. It vanished because of the power of God. That's why you need to walk in power. Amen. It's not enough to be a nominal Christian in this hour. It's not enough to be a surface Christian in this hour. Amen, somebody. I should hear an amen, somebody. Hallelujah. But you got to be faithful unto God. Hallelujah. And faith-filled. Hallelujah. In your spirit and a person who knows who they are so that no, no, no matter what might come, they, the weapon might be formed, but it will not exact itself against you because you are in Christ. No matter what might come, the Bible says it is already destroyed against you because you are in Christ. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And every tongue that exalts itself up against you, we condemn now and bring it to judgment. Hallelujah. Amen. Also, I want to share with you the principle of receiving restoration. It's so important that when you walk in Christ, you, you, you enter the rest of God, you recognize the power of the blessing, and then you receive restoration. Many times the enemy wants to come to steal something from you. Have you seen it? I've seen it, especially around harvest time. There's, a, there's something that wants to distract and to steal from you. The, and we know the word says the enemy comes but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for Jesus. I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, and we walk that word out daily. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to encourage you to walk that word out and receive your restoration no matter what the enemy has tried to steal from you. Take it back by faith. Hallelujah. Take your harvest by faith. He will supply. And the Bible says that he has already supplied. He supplies all of your need. Our God supplies all our need liberally. So when we understand that, we don't let the enemy rob us. Amen. How many people are with me? We don't let the enemy rob us anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten. And it goes on. I won't go into the scripture. We know the scripture very well. I will restore to you the years. So that means the enemy has tried to steal even time. How many people know what I'm talking about? Oh, I've, I've been through that one. Not nice when it happens. <laughs> you know, tried this to mess you up even in your season. You know you're supposed to be in a harvest season, and you're still in a season of lack or struggle, and you're like, no, this season, uh-uh, I refuse this season. This is a lying season. Have you ever been through a lying season? I've been there. 
And you have to take authority and rebuke that thing and take your harvest by faith. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I need to hear it. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's so important. Receive your restoration. The word promises it. We need to take it by faith. Hallelujah. And finally, as we've heard so powerfully through our apostle, keep the faith of God. Hallelujah. Keep the faith of God. Hallelujah. And he touched on this during the Ecclesia Conference and even uh, last week's Sunday so powerfully, and I, I'm so grateful for this word, that we keep the faith of God. Hallelujah. Galatians 2.20 in the Amplified says, Galatians 2 and 20 in the Amplified, I have been crucified with Christ. In him, I have shared his crucifixion. It is no longer I who live, but Christ, the Messiah, lives in me. And the life I now live in the body, I live by faith in, by adherence to and reliance on and complete trust in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. Amen. Hallelujah. When you understand what Jesus has done for us, amen, and we're coming to Easter, we know he's the resurrection and the life. He gave his life for us. He gave his blood that we might be healed. Hallelujah. So we, we, we just need to recognize and continue to keep the faith. Ah, hallelujah. Keep the faith in God. Keep your faith strong in God. Amen. I'm, I'm sharing this today because some people are ship, have shipwrecked faith. Those are the religious folk. Those are people who are panicking right now about these viruses. No, man, you, you have God on your side. If God be for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah. But you have to walk in the faith of God to see manifestation. Otherwise, you'll be just like the world and be attacked just like the world. Hallelujah. But when you stay in God, amen. Oh, I need to hear a loud amen. When you stay in God, nothing shall by any means harm you. Amen. Because you are in God. You are in Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And according to our apostle, Dr. Begi Gemedze, in his message, uh, during the Ecclesia Conference, he said, have the faith of God, and in order to do that, we must sow the word of God into our hearts. Amen? Sow the word of God into our hearts. Whatever our heart is full of, believe that you already have the faith of God. Whatever it is full of is what you will, what you will experience. Whatever your heart is full of is what you will experience. So keep the faith of God. Keep the word in your heart. Amen? Glory to God. And believe that you already have the faith of God. Receive faith words and speak words of life. Build a faith environment for yourself. Surround yourself with faith and you will see manifestations of great victory and great harvest. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I love the word. I love the word. I'm a student of the word. I'm always studying the word of God. And the reason is because the Lord has taught us to stay grounded through the word of God, to stay in faith and keep the faith of God through uh, being that, that person that is diligent in the word. And I want to encourage you, if you haven't already begun, to begin to be a student of the word. Study the word. Have the word on your lips. Have the word in your eyes and in your ears every day. Amen. I encourage you to set aside a time of day that you consistently get in the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of us might wake up and have to rush off to work or whatever, but before you sleep at night, get in the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to have a space in your day where you, you are studying out the word of God. It will keep you and it will bring you great victory and great harvest. Hallelujah. And finally, take your supernatural supply. I'm closing with this. Take your supernatural supply. Take your victory. Hallelujah. Take your victory. Hallelujah. It's so important as we're entering this, and you can turn with me uh, just quickly to 2 Chronicles 20 as we're studying out the, the story of Jehoshaphat. 
But I, I just want us to notice one thing here. What you see, what you see determines what you experience. If you see yourself in fear, that is what you will experience. But if you see yourself in faith, that is what you will experience. So I want to encourage you to see right. Hallelujah. I want you to put your hand on your head and, and say with me, Father, I thank you for helping me to see through the mind of Christ in the right way and stay in faith in Jesus' name so I can have total victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Whenever fear tries to grip you, I want to give you this. Whenever fear tries to grip your life, lift your hands and worship and lift your eyes to Jesus and allow him to help you see in the realm of the spirit. See your victory. Give him, look unto him who's the author and finisher of your faith. And as you look unto him, a faith picture will come into your spirit. Amen. I'm giving you keys that we've learned with apostle. Amen. To stay in faith. Hallelujah. To stay and never be moved out of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jehoshaphat. We know the story very well. 2 Corinthians chapter 20, verses 14. And we're, we're going to look on down to 30 if you can put it up on the board. 2 Chronicles chapter uh, 20. 2 Chronicles 20, verses 14 to 30. We know the story very well. Jehoshaphat was now surrounded. He was surrounded by four nations. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Four nations were coming against him. And these, by the way, were nations that he had helped. <laughs> Have you ever had people that you helped turn on you? Oh, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not, I'm not going to go in that. That'll take me on a tangent. <laughs> yeah, that's why you got to walk in love and forgiveness. Amen. Hallelujah. But sometimes you get a Jehoshaphat situation. Have you seen it? In life, if you live long enough, and you know the old mothers of the church used to say, honey, just keep on living. Honey, just keep on living. There are times when you're dealing with certain situations where the very ones you helped <laughs> can change up and turn on you. Hallelujah. And that was Jehoshaphat's situation right up in here. Second Chronicles 20, verses 14 to 30. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And if, you, if you're there, say amen. The word of God says, Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Je, uh, Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Aphaph, Asaph, in the midst of the assembly. And he said, Listen, all you of Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you, King Jehoshaphat, Thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Amen. Ah, just that part just blesses my life. Oh, my Lord. The battle is not yours. The battle is God. I'm telling you, even with this virus, the battle is not yours. The battle is God's. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the word of the Lord came, tomorrow go down against them. They will surely come up by the ascent of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. You will not need to fight in this battle. Ah, I love the Lord. Position yourselves. Amen. That position is in faith. Amen. Keeping the faith of God. Position yourselves. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you. Amen. Glory to God. O oh, Judah and Jerusalem, do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. Hallelujah. Verse 18, and Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. 19, then the Levites of the children of the Kohathites and of the children of the Korahites stood up to praise the Lord, God of Israel, with voices loud and high. So they rose early in the morning 
and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. Amen. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of his holiness as they went out before the army and were saying, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. Now when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments, uh, ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. Notice that. And they, all the enemies of Jehoshaphat, were defeated. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 23. For the people of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir to utterly kill and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, they helped to destroy one another. So when Judah came to a place overlooking the wilderness, they looked toward the multitude, and there were the dead bodies fallen on the earth. No one had escaped. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 25. When Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away their spoil, they found among them an abundance of valuables. Notice this. They found an abundance of valuables on the dead bodies and precious jewelry, which they stripped off for themselves more than they could uh, carry away. And they were three days gathering the spoil because there was so much. I declare over your lives that over these next three days, three weeks, three months, and three years, you will be, care you will be gathering in the spoil of your harvest for the faithful in this house and for those who will walk out this word faithfully in Jesus' name. Amen. And on the fourth day, in verse 26, and on the fourth day, they assembled in the valley of Baraka. For they, there they blessed the Lord. Therefore, the name of that place was called the Valley of Baraka until this day. And it goes on, and, 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 and verse 31, So Jehoshaphat was king over Judah. He was 35 years old when he became king, and he reigned 25 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Azubah the daughter of, of Sihu. And it goes on to say, then the realm, verse 30, the realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet for his God gave him rest all around. That's the rest of God. That's the rest of God. Certain battles, we just need to leave, leave it to God. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you. Certain battles, just leave them to God. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I was, I was, I'm thankful for divine con correction. Amen. I'm thankful for divine correction. I remember listening to uh, our Bishop Basil, Dr. Basil Tryon, and he was talking about the importance of when God has given you a rest in your battle. And I, 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 had, to, I, I had to just repent because, you know, I, 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 I had the understanding, well, well, it was light I had at the time that you just fight and win, you know? <laughs> fight the good fight of faith, you're just always fighting. And then I had to realize, okay, certain, certain, there are certain battles where God gives you that entering of rest, and he's like, the battle is mine. You know, this one is mine. You don't have to fight this one. Hallelujah, glory to God. And of course, you're led by the Holy Spirit. Some battles you, you fight, still even in this one, Jehoshaphat had to go out to battle, as we see here, but the battle was, was a rest in God. He just sent Judah first. He just worshiped, and God had already sent ambushments against his enemies. They fought each other and killed each other. Oh, amen. Who is this for? Stand on your feet if this is for you. God is fighting a battle. He's fighting your battles, and he's setting ambushments. Your enemy is turning on themselves, and they are destroying themselves in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Begin to pray in the spirit. I, I, I want us to be encouraged. I want the worship team to please come. Hallelujah. When, when Jehoshaphat was in the midst, 
when Jehoshaphat was in the midst, he sent Judah first. Hallelujah. So we're just going to worship and praise our God. And no matter what battle you're facing, hallelujah, we know our, the battle is the Lord's. Hallelujah. The battle is the Lord's and victory is sure because we have entered our rest in God and we have we are people of faith hallelujah we have the faith of God we refuse fear hallelujah we reject all pride we reject everything of the enemy and we stay in faith hallelujah glory to God we re reject all bitterness we choose a love walk therefore the blessing of the Lord is evident and the blessing of the Lord remains among us hallelujah the blessing of the Lord prevails over us and God uses the praises of his people to go up and exact vengeance ha! hallelujah hey! to go up hey! Oh, the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. The battle is not yours. It is the Lord's. So we're sending Judah first. There's a song in my spirit. There's a song in my spirit. We just need to get a show enough praise on. Um, this one we sang, Modimo. Modimo. Hallelujah. Modimo. Warisheba. Modimo. Hallelujah. Let's, let's, let's. Make some room. Tell your neighbor, just, just give me some room. I'm going to give God praise up in here. And God's going to fight every battle for me. Hallelujah. Because I know my God. He's got my battle. And he's prevailing in the battle. God is setting ambushes. I'm releasing it prophetically over your life. God is setting ambushes as we worship and praise him right now. He's setting ambushes against your enemies. Uh -huh. ah, they're going to turn on each other. <laughs> Ah, but no harm shall come near you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For the battle is not yours, but it is the Lord's. And we give God the glory. And we give God the praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, <laughs> 